In this video, we're going to look at the difference between an ionic and a covalent compound. Um, the first thing that we need to know is the definition of an ionic bond and a covalent bond. If you have a covalent bond, this is made up of two or more nonmetals. So there's no metals actually in your covalent compounds. These just share electrons in order to make a full octet. If you have an ionic bond, these are going to have a cation and an anion. Your cations are typically metals, your anions are typically nonmetals, but we do have your polyatomic ions that do substitute in as a cation or an anion. So it's really difficult just to say metal, nonmetal. But typically, you're going to have a metal and then a nonmetal. So when you're trying to identify if something is ionic or covalent, the easiest thing to do is to look at the first element. When you look at the first element, you want to see is it a metal or a nonmetal? Because if it's a metal, it's going to be a covalent, I'm sorry, if it's a metal, it's going to be an ionic bond. If you have a nonmetal first, it's covalent because these are made up of two or more nonmetals. So when you find iodine on the periodic table, iodine is a nonmetal. Fluorine is a nonmetal as well, so this one is covalent. When you look at the next one, we have potassium and iodine. Potassium here is a metal on the periodic table. So um, because we have a metal first, this one is actually ionic. Potassium has a positive charge, iodine has a negative charge, so metal, nonmetal. Nickel in this next one, we've got nickel has a positive charge. It's a cation, or it's a metal. You can think about it that way. NO3 is a negative charge. This is acting like your um, nonmetal. So because we have a cation and an anion, or a metal first, this one is ion. The next one we have nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen's a nonmetal, oxygen's a nonmetal. This one is covalent. Br2, this one's only made up of bromine, but there's actually two bromines present. So because there's two bromines present, that is two nonmetals, so this one is covalent as well. And the last one, FES. Fe is iron, that is a metal. Sulfur is a nonmetal, so cation anion, this one is iron. 